All right, we're going to be completely stable and secure in the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yashai. All right. Knowing that the Lord is going to take care of us. He's going to give us real superpowers, man. All right. Not no superpower by way of technology. Now, nah, what you call sci-fi, man. Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea for the devil. All right. Esau. Has come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. So when he comes with great wrath, when 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 you know when it's the purge, all right, when all hell breaks loose, so to speak, when shit hits the fan, so to speak, when when it's a situation of a grid down, when it's without rule of law, when it's the purge, when it's all these apocalyptic movies on that level, all right. The so-called white man is going to come in, all right, with his martial law FEMA troops. All right, as a flood because they know that they have but a short time. All right, they're gonna use that technology that I read about. All right, on the the website. All right, that's why I read about it to equate it with this point. And then the reason why I brought out you know dealing with the spike protein is that they're gonna be coming after people that haven't taken that spike protein. All right, they're gonna you know be coming after people that don't take the MOTB that refuse to take it. But the Lord is going to keep us and preserve us during these times. Like we read in that previous scripture, Isaiah, the 10th chapter. What? We're not going to stay upon him that smote them. We're not going to care about, you know, job. We, we don't care about him right now. But right now we need him. All right. To, you know, to, to do what? To, you know, you know, brothers need jobs to stay alive and, you know, so on and so forth to put food on the table. But these times now that we're living in. Nah, man. Well, when that time comes. All right. You know, a lot of, like I already said, a lot of brothers going to become homeless, all right? But the Lord is going to take care of them, and he's going to manifest the supernatural unlike you've ever seen before, all right? To where you're not going to need to go to work and, you know, do all these different things and pay the bills or whatever. Nah, the Lord is going to have us at undisclosed locations, safe and preserved, like it says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, Revelation 3, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. All right, Revelation 3 and 10. All right, you know, we're going to be in safe, hidden, undisclosed locations. Like, I don't know if you watched that movie, Avengers. All right, Avengers. Um, Avengers, I believe it was Age of Ultron, if I'm not mistaken, where Hawkeye had the, uh, the safe house. Okay, that we're going to be at places like that safe houses at undisclosed locations that are safe from from all the bullshit and atrocity and chaos that's happening and we're going to be married we're going to have abundance we're going to have spiritual power we're going to be safe well pr protected and preserved all right and the scriptures say you know um you know we're going to eat we're going to drink isaiah 65 all right my servant shall you know rejoice for you know but you shall cry for sore of heart and shall have for vexation of spirit because when I called, you did not answer according to the scriptures, man. You know, when the Lord used his service, all right, to, you know, teach the word, all right, which are, you know, the men of great millstone, all right, they have the Holy Spirit, the word, its wisdom, its knowledge, its understanding, the ability to teach it and break it down, the 144% truth from Genesis to Revelation, Old Testament, Apocrypha, New Testament, all right, that's, you know, the, the pure doctrine is coming from GMS, which ultimately is coming from the throne of Yahweh Bashim Yashai through GMS, all right, through the elder apostles of Great Millstone, starting off with elder apostle Tahar, Gabar, Rakar, Arayim Lab, on down all the way, all right, to, to the least brother, all right? You know, the, the pure word of Yahweh Bashim Yashai is being preached, and these people, they don't want to listen to it. They don't want to listen to the breakdowns. They don't want to listen. So what's going to happen? They're going to get caught up in that hour of temptation. But the ones that took heed, the ones that took the hand of the Lord, the ones that took the name of Yahweh Bashim Yashai and everything that, you know, the, <clears throat> the great men of the Lord were preaching, which are the men of great millstones, starting off with Elder Apostle Tahar on down, all right, that took heed to the names of Yahweh Bashim Yashai and, and what, you know, and you know, the 144% truth that Great Millstone was preaching. All these individuals, okay, you know, that, that, that took heed, they're going to be safe and protected. But the ones that did not take heed, they're going to be crying, man. All right? And they're not going to be kept from the hour of temptation. Okay, they're going to be caught up in it, you know? They, they, you know, they, then they're not going to be ignorant 
uh, of 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 the devices because they're gonna see the devices and the and the devices are gonna blow them their their brains the fuck out. All right, and they're gonna try and you know, but then it's gonna be too late, man. They're gonna try and you know, you know maybe you know say how why you was trying to save them, and then now try to have faith, <clears throat> and then now try. <clears throat> Salak in my voice, you know, talking so much that, you know, but, you know, then they're going to, you know, um, maybe, maybe try and, you know, call on Yahweh Shemi Hashem and they get stomped out. Okay, they get their brains busted open. All right. <clears throat> you know, all right. They're not <clears throat> meaning what? That they weren't kept from the hour of temptation. And you, you don't want that. You want to be kept from the hour of temptation. You want to be preserved and delivered by Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua during these times. All right. Revelation 3 and 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world and try them that dwell upon the earth. Okay. They're going to show you the technology that they have. All right. Let's see if I can remember where it's at. Was it Genesis 27? Con Genesis chapter 27 and verse 38. And Esau said unto his father, Hast thou but one blessing? My father blessed me, even me also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept and wept. It says, and Isaac, his father answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fat, shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. And by thy sword shalt thou live and shall serve thy brother. All right, the sword. All right, the sword, you know, which is what? Starting off with uh, the, the, uh, the modern day gun. All right. <clears throat> starting off with the modern day gun and all the assault you know weapons all right but also extending up until all the technological advancements of the esau edom the so-called white man the edomites man all of it as a whole all right that's the sword all right so by thy sword shalt thou live and shall serve thy brother and shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion that thou shalt break his yoke all right, from off thy neck. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, the days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. All right. See, showing you that what Esau was uh, Cain came coming back in the reincarnation as, and Jacob was Abel coming back in the reincarnation. But hey, Jacob is going to prevail, man. All right. Abel failed. All right. As Abel. All right, but he succeeded as Jacob. All right, he succeeded as Jacob, man. All right. All right, and as Jacob, he's going to take, all right, Cain, Esau down. All right, through the spirit and through the power of Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, man. Okay. You know? Okay. trying to you know seek the blessing that was rightfully given to Jacob Esau you know if he if he if the Lord wanted Esau to get it he would have got it but the Lord set it up as a, as a psych to psych Esau okay for so Jacob can get it because that's who was rightfully ordained by in the spirit before they were even born all right Genesis 27 all right and 26 and his father Isaac said unto him Jacob come come near now and kiss me my son and he came near and kissed him and he smelled the smell of his raiment and blessed him and said see the smell of my son is as the smell of a field which Yahweh had blessed all right he so Jacob came you know smelling like Esau to steal the blessing therefore the most high give thee of the dew of heaven and the fatness of the earth and plenty of corn and wine. Let the let people serve thee, and nations bow down to thee. Be Lord over thy brethren, 
and let thy mother's sons bow down to thee. Cursed be everyone that cursed thee, and blessed be every blessed be he that blesseth thee. All right. You see that? So Jacob and Esau, they were both blessed with the fatness of the earth. All right. Control over the entire planet Earth. So on and so forth. Okay. But Esau had to achieve it by way of the, the sword, his technology. All right. And his, dest his destructive technological advancements. All right. We're going to be able to do it by way of the supernatural. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yasha. And on top of that, we're going to have our own technology, which is going to be infinitely more advanced than the so-called white man. But it's going to be in righteousness. All right. Righteous celestial technology, man. All right. So, hey, we're not ignorant of their devices, though. You know, the mandates and all that is going to lead to them coming in like a flood. And they're going to have this technology that we've been reading about on that article. All right. But, hey, we're going to be safe and protected during that time all right we're, but it, we're, we're, but we're not ignorant we're not ignorant of those devices all right we know about them and we, we know that Yahweh Shemir Shai has us all right he has us in his hands all right like the you know you know like these people in the world have that have that saying all right he's got the whole world in his hands well the world all right they are not all Israel which are of Israel the world all right of Israel concerning the elect Concerning the elect, the, the chosen spirits before the world began, the Lord has them in, in, in his in his hands. All right. The scripture said what? That there shall not one of them perish, man. Not even one of the hairs of their heads, man. All right. So Yahweh Shemir Shai has us, man. All right. Esau thinks he's just going to come in and do whatever. But hey, nah, man. Yahweh Shemir Shai has other, you know, thinks otherwise. So with that, call Lord Yahweh Shemir Shai. Bracket the Yahweh Shemir Shai. Shalom.